Hello friends, welcome back to OKZOR. Now in this video, I'm going to share what are the steps that you need to follow before you start your exam. All right. So that being said, let's begin the video. I thought that there should be some notification to start my exam. So here you have to put your ID and password to log in your account. So I'm just going to put my ID and password. I just want to see that there should be some sort of notification in my Outlook account. So when I logged into my account, I did not see any kind of notification from Azure regarding my exam. So there was nothing. Then what I did, I opened another tab and I simply Googled as a 204 exam. Just open the very first link, which says exam 204. So it is not only for exam 204. If you guys are preparing for as a 900, the process will be same. You need to go and look for as a 900 and open the very first link. Once you reach here on this page, what you have to do is simply click on the login button, type your outlook ID and password. Once you logged in, slightly scroll down and here you will see go to certification dashboard. There would be a link. Click on that. Okay, now this is your dashboard where you can see all about your exam histories, all about all your coming exams, whatever you have. So I'll simply go down and here you see today I have my exam on December 26, 2020, and I can see here in a link to start my online exam. Okay. Now here is the process. So my exam will be start shortly. Okay, now here I can see open online exam. So I have one. I'll click this link. So the very first thing that which you need to do is you need to run a system test. This is very important. And this particular test is to make sure that you have good internet connection and your system is ready to run the application where you will take your exam. You go and click on run a system test. It will download a file. So I'll click on check copy access code and download. So I'm going to save this file on my desktop. Basically this particular exe will start the online exam. So let me just click on this one and run. And one more thing, you must have admin rights on your system, on the machine on which you are going to take the exam, else you may face some issues during your exam. Now I'll simply put my phone number here, click on next. Now this guy will verify your microphone and your internet speed and your webcam right so now here you can see a green tick mark it says everything is good i can click on next to proceed further once you are done so let me just go and proceed next so it says system test almost there launch simulation for five more minutes to start my exam once it is 130 i'll see a button here to check in to start my online exam another important point you need to have two id cards or government issued id cards in your hand it could be your passport it could be your driving license and other, any other material or any other id card so you need to have at least two id cards available right on your desk because once you start your exam there will be a person who will check your id cards and the examiner may also ask you to show your room. Right? So what you have to do is just lift your laptop and just take a quick round of your room. Just make sure that no one is there in your room. You should not have any other laptop or devices close to you, not even your phone. Okay. And then you can just like take your laptop and take a quick round of your room and then simply say that, okay, nobody's there. So once you are done with this process, you are good to start your exam. So guys, now it's 1.30 and you can see that I have check-in button available. So I am all set to take my exam. For watching, I have to stop the video. I have to close all the other applications before I take my exam. Else I will be disqualified. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.